Hello everyone and welcome to this week video. Uh, we have a question from uh, from one user from uh, from YouTube, um, Leah McVeigh. Thank you for the question. She asks, "How do you hide the prices until the customer logs in to the site?" Um, so basically, what she means is, I she doesn't want to show the prices. Uh, I assume on, on, on collection, but also on uh, on the product, or uh, like in my example here, on uh, on the quick view also. Um, so let's let's see how we could do it. Um, it should be fairly easy because basically um, th there's a simple code to check if a customer is logged in or not. Uh, so we're gonna use that to hide or show the elements uh, that we need. Okay, so let's start with the product page uh, because most probably the easiest one to do. Um, so go in your admin panel, online store, themes, click down the three dots over here and uh, look for edit HTML CSS. Now you can close this one. You, can, you need to go in templates and look for product.liquid so this is the template uh, that generates your product page. Uh, now we need to find where the price is, is shown. Uh, the easiest way to do that is um, inspect the element. Either you're using Firefox or, or Chrome or, or even Safari, I think it has it. You, you can just inspect the, the element. And here the, the name, the ID of, of, of my price element it's product price um, so let me just copy this and let's see if we can find it over here product price okay so I have it right here if uh, if in your case you don't have an ID like this um, look for whatever you have or or variant price or product price uh, so or you can search by ID or you can find you can search by price. If there's no price shown on this page, on the product page, that means your prices are generated on another template. In that case, look for include. See here, include. You have a you have a swatch. Uh, you have the wish list. It means this page it's including another page in order to generate um, to, to, to generate some code. Uh, so it happens with themes that your, your code for the product price will be on another page that is not in product that liquid. Um, so let's get back to mine. So this one here. So this will generate will uh, that shouldn't be there this will um, generate the the price um, so we can just do a test if we remove it we should have no more price there you go so let's go back uh, control Z and we can we can have it back in case you again I, I mentioned this sometimes in case you do an, an, an error you save it you, you you you're not able to find it or to fix it you always have here older versions and you can go to uh, to an older version of this page uh, when it was actually working and just um, back up from there so what I want to do in this case um, Ellie, let's actually go one step further because I know this element it's including my price element and as you see here the the, the price actually as I said before it comes from another uh, page uh, but I can just hide this so the the code is fairly simple all you have to do is ask if customer don't forget to put an end and if let's save it if I go back 
still not there which makes sense uh, because I'm not I'm not logged in let me just see um, if I logged in what happens Okay, I'm here. Let's go back. Let's just refresh. I'm logged in and we have the price. Beautiful, no? So, and you can do the same uh, on any other elements. Uh, same thing if you want to do it for the add to cart. Uh, let's say for example you do want to show the price but you don't want to show the add to cart uh, let's see how we can do that so as i said before let's just inspect the element we want we have an id here of add to cart so let me just copy this we can close it go back in in the product because we're still on the product and go uh, search for add to cart not that one not this one this is our all javascript so we don't need to touch that uh, here so the, the cart button normally it's in the form because it's the form that gets sent to uh to to the store and and, and process the rest so add to cart let me see next one button this is it. So button ID add to cart. Uh, and in this case, we can we can uh, we can hide all of this. The whole button. Here I I, I was playing in, in another video to hide it when I have the tag in the product no show. So that's that's something nice. If you want to take a look at that video, um, you, you, you can see it in, in, in my channels um, and also what I wanted to mention is this is uh, it's really important that you give an else uh, if you're not showing an element please tell the customer why you're not showing it um, in, in this case I was I was just saying that it's 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 only gonna be available in spring 2016 so let's let me just play with the with the button and, and, and show you exactly the same thing so all you need to do is put the same if customer don't forget to put the end if that's it let me just move this a little bit for the beauty of it and as I was saying I suggest you to put an else and this will be what it will shown when it, it, it there's no customer logged in. Um, so in this case, um, in order to see prices or add to cart button, please log in or create an account. that should do um, let's just save it let's refresh here add to cart it's still there so let me log out and let's go back to my collections Come on. Sorry. Let's refresh. And you see, price is gone. Add to cart is gone. And I have my text. In order to see prices or add to cart button, please log in or create an account. And even better, you could actually link this to, uh, to the sign in. Um, to the sign in or, or or the create in order to do get the link just go and and take a look for create an account register just copy it go back uh, create
create an account, what you want to do is add a ref your link. And don't forget to close it. That, that. Okay. Save. Let's refresh it. And now this is a link. And you can do the same for uh, for the sign in. And um, let's just take a look at, at the collection page also. Sorry. So in the collection page, we still have uh, we still have the prices. So let let's take a look in uh, in the collection page. Look for collection. Um, for sure, the price will not be shown in the collection page itself. So take a look for include include collection views collection sorting this one looks for every look for everything that has uh, the hardest product in it uh, so include product grid item take a look in uh, in the snippets and look for product grid item let's just go back and inspect this element also inspect element um i will look for this product item price let's see if we can find it here yes okay so we have it right here this is the div and what you want to do it's exactly the same thing if customer Don't forget your else. Actually, let's go take it back from the product. I have it right here, else and if I can copy. This is my div. Actually, make sure you put it outside of the div. Else if, okay. Now we can hit save, refresh. and no more price it looks a little bit confusing but um, you, you get the idea so basically you can do this for any element on your website that you want to uh, to hide when a customer is not logged in being the add to cart being price being an image being a title being uh, any anything on your website you can do the same you can apply the same logic just add if customer don't forget the else it will be uh, that will be nice sorry here don't forget the else just to inform your customer what is going on and obviously uh, close your uh, your condition so this is it for today um, thank you again to Leah McVeigh who asked uh, the question much appreciated um, as usual, don't forget to comment in, in my videos, just do it down below. You can ask me questions. You can, you can reach me out. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm available on, uh, on LinkedIn here on, uh, on, on YouTube, on Twitter. Uh, you also have my email there, um, my Skype. So don't hesitate to ask me questions and really really important please subscribe to my channel i'm releasing videos each week so if you don't want to miss out uh just subscribe and uh that's it have a good day